Hey, this is OXDF, and today I wanted to talk about uh, file read vulnerabilities and the importance of thinking about the content length response header uh, when dealing with this kind of data. Um, just a quick example to show something that was kind of lost me some time when I wasn't thinking about it and uh, hopefully save you some time in the future. So with that, uh, let's take a look here. So this is actually the open source box from Hack the Box, and um, I've been able to upload this file. In fact, I can copy it here and it gives me the URL where I can go fetch it right back. Um, so if we jump over into burp, uh, my HTTP history, let's make sure we're showing images. Um, I can get this URL. Now the file read vulnerability is actually to come here and do dot dot slash slash, uh, and then we can do like Etsy password. Now this won't work uh, in Firefox. Firefox is going to normalize this URL out for me before it gets, sends it. So if we send this, it's just, you know, you can see it tries to get that. Um, but if we grab this uh, request here, send it over to repeater, we can come here and say dot dot slash slash Etsy password, and we've got file read. You can see here the Etsy password file. So the challenge comes, uh, well, I guess before we go to that, what I typically do, I, I you can work out a burp. I often like to switch to curl. And so if I grab this and I come over here and say curl, now I got I know I have to do path as is. That's how I prevent the same normal, same kind of normalization that Firefox was getting me. And then I can say HTTP 10, 10, 11, 164, and I think paste that, and we can read Etsy password. So now I'm over here and I like this. I, I like this better because I can just work off the command line. I don't know, it's more and more comfortable, right? And so I got to the point where I needed to read some files. Um, specifically, I needed the MAC address of the system I was in. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to proc net arp and I'm gonna fetch that. And nothing came back. And I went, man, that's a bummer. I, wanted, I thought I could read this file. I guess I can't. Um, and I messed around for a while and I messed around for a while. And I was looking for some other things. And I, I found myself over in Burp, and I thought, yeah, I'm just going to try and make sure I, if I remember correctly that I can't read this. And I, so I did uh, proc net harp, and I hit send. And lo and behold, you know, the data I needed came back. This I was looking for this MAC address. There it is. And so I thought, man, oh, I must have been crazy earlier. I, I must have missed this. I, lost, I wasted a lot of time. I'll go back here and just try it and curl again. And I got nothing. And so what is going on here? And so uh, let's open up Wireshark. And we'll grab on ton zero, and we will send two requests. We'll send that request, and we will send that request. And right away, I don't know if you noticed it, but right here in Wireshark, we'll stop this. We got some red results here. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's see what what is it highlighting for us um, in the TCP. It's getting a reset flag, so it is. It's something's a little screwy here. Um, let's go ahead and follow the TCP streams, and. If I look here, so let's see, this is the, I don't think I can make this text any bigger, um, but this is the fire, this is the Firefox one that I then sent the repeater because you can see the user agent for Mozilla Firefox here. I mean, I can see it, I don't know if it's too small for you. Um, you can see the results down here looking good. If I go to the other stream, um, this is clearly curl, fewer headers, it just has the host header, the user agent of curl and a, a generic accept, um, but the data's here. Um, and so what is going on? It took me a minute to see it, but it's the content length coming back from the server is set to zero. And I believe that's because it goes to do an LS on this file. If we do um, LS minus L A on proc net arp, um, we can see the size of this file on Linux is zero. So if the system, if the web server is trying to read the size of that file and then using that as the content length, it's going to get zero, even though it then reads the full file and sends it back. Um, so what's happening is then curl is seeing this content length of zero and saying, okay, I'm supposed to print zero. And so it prints nothing. Um, we can get around this by adding the uh, ignore content length field. And when we do that, we get our results back. So I think if my recommendation, what I'll probably do in the future um, is to always just include ignore content length when I'm doing this kind of data, because that way I just, I know I'm going to see all the data that comes back and I don't have to worry about it. Um, the only downside I see to that is when I'm writing a blog post, it's just more text on the screen um, that might be confusing or unnecessary. But um, I think if I were just, you know, when I'm just working myself, I'll pretty much always include that. So um, that's it. I'm going to call it here. Very quick video. Hopefully uh, I save you some time from troubleshooting in the future that uh, I lost. So talk to you next time. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.